Hi, my name is Kim Golding. I'm currently a student at Worcester University studying a BA in entrepreneurship and this is my 15 minute oral presentation on cultivating the entrepreneurial mindset. Um, can, when I think of the mindset of the effective entrepreneur, I think back to the um, to two books that I read during the course um, on uh, mindset and resilience and opportunity. Um, the two books were The Opportunity Analysis Canvas by James Green and Resilience Bounce Back from Whatever Life Throws at You by Jane Clark and John Nicholson. Um, both talk about um, effective entrepreneurs having certain mindsets and um, some of the recurrent features within those mindsets. Um, so I've written some of them down on my poster, which are optimism, self, a high self-efficacy, um, high self-motivation and a need for high achievement. Um, High self-efficacy, meaning that they can take control of the situations that they find themselves in and um, believe that they can achieve certain things or are in control of certain situations. High achievement, meaning that they have a very high need to um, achieve their goals and um, achieve success. Um, resilience, um, meaning that they um, do take on board what people are telling them and um, they use that to their advantage and make changes um, accordingly. Um, internal locus of control, meaning that they influence their own decisions and they don't rely on luck or um, external circumstances. Um, or, and they don't blame external, external circumstances for things going wrong. Um, they take responsibility for what's happened and they find the positive within that. Um, during the last uh, nine months, I have been on quite a journey um, from, um, say, July last year. I was in a corporate role um, working for a very large company um, in a planning environment so I was very statistical and analysis driven. Um, I then enrolled in this particular entrepreneurship course and believed that I could manage the two, um, one part-time role at the corporate job and also doing the full-time entrepreneurial course. Um, I then very quickly realised that actually that wasn't possible and I found that quite difficult. Um, it did mean that I had to be very honest with myself and say that actually this isn't working and I couldn't manage all of the work um, and get it all done to the high standard that I expect from myself. Um, so going back to that high achievement. Um, I made the decision that I would leave my corporate role and um, work on my own business full time and study full time. Um, and this really sort of put me into a state of um, shock, I think, when, when it came down to it. I went through a very um, hard period of adjustment, um, wasn't really sure what I was doing or how to do my job or what my job was. I was wearing many different hats and having to look at things like marketing and sales that I'd never really been involved with in the past. Um, I found it quite difficult to get self-motivation, to get up in the morning, to get on with my role, to complete my university work, to um, get on the phone and talk to customers or potential customers and the whole um, the whole journey has been um, quite an eye-opener for me in respect of my mindset in that um, I don't think I really expected to feel that way I think I expected that it would be quite easy for me to slot into working for myself not having a boss not having to worry about getting in at eight o'clock in the morning not worrying about leaving at five. Um, the reality was that I was doing a lot of jobs that I didn't really know how to do. 
um, which involved a lot of learning. Um, I was all of a sudden having to write academically, which I haven't done since I was probably 16, which um, was a long time ago. Um, and, you know, I have found certain things quite challenging. Um, I think it's actually probably made me quite strong um, when I look back on that now, but it's taken quite a long time for me to become um, the person that I am now and to develop the mindset that I have now. I think um, six months ago, I didn't really have a purpose as such. I was um, very much struggling with where I fit into my own business and whether it was going to be a success. Um, I did tend to blame um, external parties for failure, so I had an external locus of control, um, which meant that you know I was blaming things like bad luck or um, somebody else for my failure or some, someone else for something going wrong. Um, my husband was was the the butt of a lot of the blame, to be honest. Um, and actually, when I looked at the situation. From a bird's eye perspective, I found that I, there wasn't anybody else to blame but myself. It's me that needs to get my head around the fact that, yes, okay, I don't as such have a boss anymore. I am my own boss. I choose my own working hours and I choose to do what I want to do during the day. But I have to take responsibility for the fact that that's my job now. And if I don't get that work done, that it's no one else's fault but mine. Um, and I think I, I probably struggled with that for quite a long time. Um, the good news is that um, using the techniques that I've learned throughout the course, um, such as reflection, um, reflection has been a big part of what I've learned over the last nine months. Um, reflecting on what I've done on a weekly basis or what I've done on a monthly basis and what I've achieved has helped me really grow my self-esteem, which is another um, area that needed to be improved on for um, for improving my entrepreneurial mindset. So if we look at um, my personal development, I my scores for resilience. When I looked at my resilience and how I how I understood that and how I reacted to certain things, was was actually quite a lot lower than I thought it would be. I thought it would be quite high. I thought, yeah, I'm, you know, I bounce back from everything. It's not a problem. And actually, when I looked at the questionnaire that was in one of the books that I read, I'm actually quite a low scorer on resilience, which I wasn't expecting. Um, so that says to me that obviously there's some improvement to be made there. Um, I also have quite a low self-esteem. Um, so nine months ago, I would never ever have made a video about myself or my development or my um, mindset. So for me to sit in front of a camera is a is a big improvement. And um, although it's probably taken you know uh, two glasses of prosecco for me to sit here and and talk like this, at least I'm doing it, which is the main thing. Um, so. You know, my self-esteem is growing. I am starting to um, get more confident. I'm starting to take more control over what I deliver as far as my business is concerned. And I'm starting to take more responsibility um, in that respect as well. Um, I know that there are many, many improvements that I could make going forwards. Um, I have listed some of them on my poster. Um, I need to have more belief in myself. Um, I'm sure that um, there is one story in particular <laughs> that stands out in, in the case of this. Um, although it wasn't my fault, it was my horse's fault. Again, that's the, the self-efficacy and the external locus of control coming into play there. Um, the horse actually stood on my foot um, the day before I was due to go and speak at a big business conference in Malvern, which David Boswood had kindly organised for us. And unfortunately I couldn't go, which I was very happy about at the time because I really didn't want to go and do a presentation in front of lots of people. And right now I feel like actually that's something that I could 
go and do and I would be happier doing. Not completely comfortable, but my self-esteem has grown um, that much more that I'm, I would feel more comfortable in doing that now. Um, taking control of situations, I know that in the last few weeks, for example, I have taken much more control over where this business is going and what we're doing. Um, I'm starting to rely less on other pe other people to get the job done. I'm starting to rely less on contacts to put us in touch with people. I'm actively going out and searching for our next opportunity and making sure that I personally follow that up. Um, I know that I need to gain more credibility and that's only going to come from putting myself out there and talking about my business and talking about what it is that we do and the results that we achieve. Um, and maybe I don't big myself up enough when it comes to what our business actually does or achieves on a daily basis. Um, you know, ultimately what we do as a business is improve people's well-being and that's a very rewarding position to be in and I should be proud of that. Um, so definitely going out and talking to more people and getting myself in front of more people where I have the opportunity to, to talk about what we're achieving every day is going to improve my self-confidence, it's going to improve my credibility and it's going to get my name out there and known to more people. Um, and one of the things that I did find really helpful during the year was the reflection technique. I have never done that before, I've never taken the time to reflect on what I've done or what I've achieved and actually I did find this really helpful. Um, so it's definitely something that I would be looking to um, do on a weekly basis and actually myself and my business partner, my husband, we do sit down and talk about what have we achieved this week, what's happened, is it good, what are the positives, what do we need to learn, what can we take away and improve on. Um, so that's a really good point that's come out of it and all goes towards um, improving my entrepreneurial mindset and, and thinking more like um, a, a real life entrepreneur rather than somebody that's just playing at doing that. Um, so yeah, improvements that I've made in year one of this course is um, making this video. Big step forward for me. Um, and there are many more, but my low self-esteem wouldn't let me talk about them. Um, so yeah, I, like I said, there are many, many more improvements. Um, the connections I've made through the university are fantastic and that alone has given me more confidence in um, believing that I can actually achieve what I want to achieve um, and turn to people for support when I need to. Um, and I really do think that having a good support network around you as an entrepreneur is a very important tool and you shouldn't hesitate to use that um, should you need to. Um, looking forward to seeing what the, what the next year has in store for me. Thank you very much for watching.